Hello, welcome to this video. In this video I want to show you what I do when I modify a lock. So modified in a way that it is harder to pick afterwards, hopefully. So um, this can be meant as little tutorial for people who did not yet do it, so who wants to modify a lock to, well, to, to make it a challenge for other pickers. To, to pick it. But also this is an opportunity for me to get your comments on how I could improve um, the things that I do in order to, to make it harder to pick. So what I want to do to uh, what I want to do in this video is I want to use this ECO lock and this is an Euro cylinder um, lock that has of course two parts. It's uh, quite an easy uh, pick with some spools. Um, I want to modify one side and um, then if, you, if I send it out to someone else he or she can uh, compare uh, the two different uh, sides of this lock and see what, uh, what has been improved in, uh, with regards to the uh, picking resistance. Alright, so let's continue. Uh, uh, or let's start, better to say, um, with the first step. And the first step here is removal of the clip. So clip removal is sometimes the hardest part of the whole uh, job. And to make it a little bit easier, it's very good if you have a if you have a vise, and I cover it uh, just for um, cosmetic reasons uh, with this yellow blanket. Um, I want to cut and change the uh, smaller side here and we have to remove that clip and either you have a tool for that then it's easy or you have to do it manually and I have to do it manually because I don't have a tool but I usually take two screwdrivers and with one screwdriver I, I hold one side of the of the ring and with the other I try to bend it like that and if we came so far everything is alright because then we can use this tool here in order to remove it completely. Okay. Don't throw it away. We'll of course need it afterwards when we have reassembled the lock to to secure the plug again. So take it aside. And what comes now is the gutting. So for the gutting um, it's very useful to have a pinning tray and you don't have to buy one. Uh, you can make yourself one out of a, a wooden board like that or you make some handcraft work and take a, um, a sheet of uh, paper and, and bend it like this and you get a very useful uh, pinning tray. So once you're prepared with a pinning tray, let's assume you have a key uh, insert the key, rotate the core or pick it if you don't have a, have a key and then you can just uh, pull out the plug and take care for the, for the key pins so they don't, uh, don't lose them or don't let them fly around and of course the driver pins will just pop out because of the spring tension but that's okay, we will uh, reassemble it anyway. So, uh, take this, take the housing um, to the side and first have a look at the, at the plug. So, we'll pop out the, the pins into the right position here in the in the pinning tray and we'll take this also to the side now let's have a look to the uh, 
So the housing, you can see the, the, the driver pins and the springs are all in there. I just um, force them out like that. So it's empty now. And take a tweezer, arrange the arrange the, the springs so that we don't uh, lose them. So all springs are there. I also um, add the, the driver pins to some uh, places just arbitrarily. So now, now we have got it, the, the lock. And that's how the, the pins look like. Um, some nice spools, but uh, nothing special. So no serrations, uh, no threading. And we will change that in the next step when we uh, think about how to improve the picking resistance. Okay, so again, here is our lock that we want to modify, but uh, before we do that, I will just um, add some words regarding what I think are the properties of a secure lock or a lock that is resistant against picking, more resistant against picking. First of all, maybe uh, it's the number of pins. Here we have a five pin lock, and of course, the more pins there are, um, the harder it is and the longer it takes to pick the lock, but uh, we cannot change this. Next um, is the bidding. So if you have a bidding like uh, this, for example, and I will call this a boring bidding because most of the pins uh, need to be set to the same height except um, the second pin and the last pin. And this is uh, not so difficult to pick compared to maybe that type of bidding because here we have a lot of ups and downs and the pins uh, with the higher number are protected by the high standing pins in the front so position one position one is a very high standing pin and it protects this pin then we have again two very uh, high standing pins protecting the last pin which needs to be set very very deeply so this is a quite uh, interesting or challenging bidding and it um, it uh, it makes it harder to to pick the lock without uh, so set the pins uh, here and there without oversetting the the pins that are standing out uh, more than the others uh, next is the keyway. Here we have uh, one type of keyway that is not so difficult, so we have a lot of room here and there. Just a lightning a little bit, so the the warding is there. There is ward. There are wardings, but if you if you look at the at the space here and the space there, it's quite a lot of room and you have enough uh, free space to to insert your pick and, and to man manipulate the pins. And if you compare it to for example that type of keyway um, you see that this is uh, more challenging because here you have less free space and also here is quite a a thin area where you can insert the pick and you need to angle your pick around in order to, to uh, manipulate the pins. So that's, the, that's another property but we cannot change that of course. We cannot change the bidding and uh, we cannot uh, change the type of keyway. Um, and there's also another property, it's the precision of the lock, meaning that um, how uh, precise those uh, holes are aligned and how precise those those chambers are made and uh, the, the roundness and other uh, precision properties of the lock um, affect the, the picking resistance.
the more precise a log is, the harder it is to pick it. So you can you can see that, for example, if you if you pick um, a lock without security pins, which is um, not so well made, it's easy, and you can of course rake it quite easily. But on the other hand, a lock um, with the same type of pins, but made with a high amount of precision, um, for example, a WB uh, padlock, uh, it's very hard to to pick and it's very hard to rake. So this can make a big difference. But we can also not uh, change this this property. Um, but what we can change is the is the are the are the pins and are the springs, and um, it's the surface um, of the chambers. So what we can make uh, to make it harder to pick is that we can add threading to the chambers here in the in the plug. So this would cause the the driver pins to to hang when 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 you try to pick the lock and it's it's harder to set the pin to the to the correct level and if you if you push it too hard then you overset the pin so this is one one property that we can change in order to make it harder to pick another uh, property is uh, the type of pins so this is the original uh, pinning of the lock and you can see here the key pins are all standard and the driver pins are spools of the same type and one uh, standard driver pins and all springs are the same so what we can change here is we can add serrated pins instead of the spools they they would hang um, especially nicely on the uh, threaded chambers then and if we change the spools by other type of spools it's also a difference uh, in picking and it's harder to, to pick it if you have different types of spools. And we can also uh, change the, um, the springs, maybe to add um, a stronger springs or weaker springs, just to, um, to make the, the feeling um, weird when, it, uh, when the lock is picked. And we can also add um, um, you can also change the, the key pins and um, make some modifications here um, in order to, um, to make it harder to, to pick the lock. We could um, threaten the, the chambers in the, in the housing. The camera would focus. We could add uh, uh, threads here as well, but, but not with this. Um, uh, type of lock because we we cannot access um, the chambers. We would need to to drill out here um, what is uh, inserted here to to keep the the springs in place, or we would have uh, to to drill holes here um, in the housing. But I I won't do that. So next is um, to to change the the pinning. And I have an assortment of um, some spare uh, pins that I collected from other locks that I uh, will use to to change the uh, the pinning. And also I will um, um, modify some pins um, by my uh, drilling machine with my drilling machine and a file. I will show you that just in a moment. And I will also uh, change the springs here for assortment of different uh, type of springs that I collected so that we can that, uh, that we will get a, a nicely modified lock that um, is a little bit more uh, fun to pick. So just hold on. Okay, here we are. And these are the tools that I use to change the surface or the shape of the pins. I use my good old drilling machine. I clamp it into my vise. I insert the pin here in the front. Uh, tighten it up and I use a saw for example or uh, a standard uh, file uh, to make grooves or to change the shape and well let's start, oops, let's start with a pin here and I will just make a very uh, sharp uh, groove here and at the end I wanna just zoom in a little bit so that you can see the details and let's start.
very nicely uh, modified pin. Okay, so I will continue with um, all the other pins that I want to modify and then I will be back. Alright, so here I'm back again and um, that's the result of my efforts. You can see all the key pins um, are, um, are modified in a way that there are that they have grooves on the end, so there are um, serrated and uh, the key pins are just um, arbitrarily modified with a sharp edge here and there and two grooves uh, at this pin and here again uh, serrations on the end so everything, a little bit of everything and uh, you, you should be aware of one fact when you when you decide uh, about the, the driver pins to use in a specific chamber and have a look at the, at the tip of the knife um, that I arranged here because this is approximately the shear line so when you when you have a very long key pin like here you, you should not uh, use a very long spool for example because this is useless um, what you would feel when you when you pick the this um, this stack here is just what what's uh, from the tip to uh, to the shear line. Nothing more. The rest here uh, will stay in the in the chamber of the Bible and uh, will not affect your picking, unless it's maybe threaded. Um, but that's that's a different story. So if you expect um, to have a, a difference in, in in the picking behavior when you insert a very long and, and thin spool here everything from here to the end will not affect your picking so um, think of that when you when you um, decide what uh, driver pins to use and I will just show you that in the in the example of this lock so this is pin 1 and if you insert it here you will you will be able to recognize that you should insert a driver pin that um, affects this um, this distance here. And uh, yeah. Okay, so I will now add a threading to the uh, chambers of the of the plug, and then I'll be back. So for the threading, I just use a normal um, screw tab and. Uh, tap wrench and add the threading like that. So here we are, first chamber is threaded. So I will continue with the rest and then uh, I'm ready for the next step. So all chambers are threaded and the key pins are inserted. And what is important, key still works. So if you make the, the threads too deep um, and you have um, modified uh, key pins, so with um, serrations on the end, um, it might happen that they hang when you uh, insert the key and I think this is not good if you make a, a modified lock, a challenge lock uh, which cannot be used with the key anymore. So make sure key goes in and out like that. I can feel uh, already some resistance here but uh, not too bad. And if, it, if this is the case then you can continue with the reassembling. Okay, everything's prepared for the final reassembling. Um, lock is uh, clamped up in a vise, and in order to um, reassemble a Euro cylinder from the front, you have to have uh, a tool like this. That's a homemade uh, tool from a windshield wiper steel, and uh, are wrapped around the racks um, to um, increase the friction here uh, at the bottom so that it, that it doesn't uh, slide away um, unintended and I will show you uh, how that works uh, with the first chamber so you take a, a spring, insert it here 
take your uh, your pin and you adjust the, the tool you stick in the the pin oops try that again stick in the pin Then move over the pin, the tool, and it holds. You can continue now with uh, each chamber, and finally, um, all the driver pins are in, and then we will see how the final step looks like. So now every chamber is, is filled, and before I insert the plug, I want to make sure that um, all the key pins are. Uh, correct so that the key will work at the end that seems to be the case and now I insert the plug like this so there's a there is a, a gap here that allows me to insert it although the tool is in so it goes in like that now I have to remove uh, that one so I can okay already snapped in so this little nose here has snapped in the plug is completely uh, within the housing I can remove the tool and now I should be able um, to, um, to turn the plug Just take my knife. Turn it, turn it, turn it, and snap. All right. So let's see if the key works. Works fine. So make sure you hold the plug when you remove the key, because there is no clip yet here that would uh, prevent the plug from coming um, from 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 uh, being pulled out so it would be <laughs> it would be a mess if you just um, um, remove the key and if you pull out the plug and everything uh, flies around um, well that's it uh, let's uh, insert the uh, let's let's insert the, the clip finally and then we are done uh, before I um, add the clip I'll correct this little mistake so the nose is uh, standing up and I don't want to have this I just pull the plug a little bit to make this one free and here it is goes down and should snap in okay snapped in pull out the key so that the plug is um, doesn't uh, want to go out anymore so add the clip like that and just tighten it a little bit just the lightning here Alright, so we're done. Key works. And we have a very nice modified lock. This is the original uh, pinning situation, and that's the modified one. And yeah, let's find a picker who wants to try it. Thank you very much for watching. Happy picking. Bye bye.